Hey everyone, Wayne Fox here. You know, sometimes you end up with duplicate keywords in your Lightroom library. Mine's a mess right now. Take a look here and you'll see that all these keywords here are actually already in my Lightroom library. And the reason is I exported a bunch of files and I imported them and Lightroom wasn't able to identify these keywords down in the hierarchy because some of the way that I structure it. Now I can eliminate this problem pretty easily, but I still have duplicate keywords that are existing and many people do. And I've actually found a pretty simple way to identify those and to help resolve them. Now it's not automatic, but I actually haven't seen this tip before on how to find them quickly. So I thought I'd do a quick video today about how to find those duplicate keywords and then resolve them. So maybe you're wondering how you can even have duplicate keywords. Why doesn't Lightroom sort of fix that for you? Well, because Lightroom allows you to build a hierarchy of keywords, you might find an occasion where you want the same keywords nested down in different hierarchies. For example, I have pictures from Bridal Veil Falls, both in Yosemite and the one near Provo, Utah. And in my location hierarchy, I have Bridal Veil Falls listed under Yosemite National Park, under California, under United States. And the other one is listed, I think, under Wasatch Front, Utah, United States. So that keyword needs to be there twice. A lot of times you don't. For example, I have a keyword called ocean, and any picture that's got any part of the ocean in it, I attach that keyword. So it's only going to be in there once. And the problem I had with this last import is I ended up with a keyword re-imported because the original word ocean was sort of buried in a hierarchy and somehow Lightroom didn't find it. Now, what puzzled me is some keywords it was able to find and others it wasn't. And I've got to work on that. But in the meantime, let's just go and find a couple of duplicate keywords and show you how it's pretty easy to figure out which ones are duplicates with a couple of quick tips. This is all related to the videos I did several years ago on how to organize your keyword list. I'll link it up in the corner. If you use some temporary folders and some other tips, you can organize it fairly quickly. And this one is just focused on finding duplicates, which I showed in another video. Uh, this will only take a couple of minutes and you might find it really useful. Okay, let's just look at a couple of quick examples. A good one is this photograph right here. This photograph should have the keyword path associated with it. Anything that's similar to that, I use that keyword and it only should be in my Lightroom library one time. We'll notice that over here I do have the keyword path, but this keyword path should be inside of this hierarchy called things. Pretty much all of my keywords I want inside of internal places or things. Everything falls into one of those categories. If I click the little arrow next to path, then you'll notice it will find the key, the photographs that have this particular keyword associated with it. So this, these photographs have the word path, but it's not the path that I want. Now, the first thing I could do, which is pretty easy, is I can just search for the keyword path. And you'll notice it shows up, every time it shows up, it shows up inside the hierarchy it belongs. So right now I've got a word path in what I call ZTemp holding, which is kind of a work file while I'm organizing my keywords. And this is the path keyword I want associated with these three photographs. Pretty easy to resolve. I simply do a select all by holding command A or control A on Windows. I go ahead and I turn the correct path on. Now you can just drag it over and drop it, but for me it's just as easy just to click the little button there. And now I can either delete this keyword directly or I can just turn it off. And then later, I can purge all the keywords that don't have any. Up here, you have a menu choice that says purge unused keywords. And this will eliminate any keywords that have no associated photographs. It's usually easier just to right click and delete it. So the challenge is to find all those duplicates. Now, I've eliminated all those extra ones. I just removed all of those pictures I imported from my uh, library temporarily. And I'll try to resolve why that's not working. I think it's because I have synonyms which are not handled correctly when you re-import and also because I have some keywords that are not included when I export a file 
And thus, Lightroom doesn't know what the hierarchy belongs to. And so I've got to resolve that. In the meantime, now that we're down to my normal list, a lot of these keywords inside of my ZTIMP holding folder are also duplicated. For example, if you look here in Italy, you'll see that under places I already have in Italy, and there are a lot of pictures here that definitely belong in the same, uh, only in the one place. So I could do what I just did a second ago. I could just start typing them in. So let's look for fog. And we can see that fog does not have any duplicate. It's not in there more than once. So I could go ahead and file fog away into my things category. And under fog, I have things. And then down here, I have weather. So I could drop fog into weather. And now it's in what I feel is the correct place for what I'm trying to do. But if you look at this list, it's really slow. And I have no idea which ones of these are duplicates. And it's not going to be a very efficient way. And I did find a way that's quite a bit more efficient and actually works pretty good. So let me kind of show you the main tip, the reason I did this video, because this is new to me. Okay, so the first thing I have to do is select all of my photographs because I have to make sure that every keyword possible is available for the next step. In my case, I have eliminated the catalog from the menu on the left because I use this bar down here. And if you right click here, you'll notice these are all the same as you have in your catalog, but you have so much more you can do, including recent locations and even favorites. And this is really handy and there's no reason to duplicate it with the other one up here, but below the navigator. Anyway, I'm just gonna go all photographs. So now there's another pretty important step. What we have to do is select all of these photographs, Command A or Alt A. And you'll notice when I do that, all of the keywords available in these have shown up. But the problem is some of the photographs in our library, even though they're supposedly all here, they're listed in a stack. And those keywords actually won't be searchable by clicking the small arrows next to any of the keywords in our list. So what I have to do is go here, right click, and just tell Lightroom to unstack, I mean to expand all stacks. So now we've eliminated the hierarchy of our photographs and stacks. And now we know that we can find any pictures based on clicking on one of the arrows. It's possible to click the arrow and have a number here and actually have no photographs show up because they're all hidden in a stack and we haven't unstacked them. Now I'm going to show my library filter by hitting forward slash. I'm gonna to go to metadata. I'm gonna change and make sure one of these shows me my keywords. You can click here and you can pick what each column shows. Make sure one of them shows keywords. You'll notice this is pretty much identical to what I have over here in my keyword list. But the trick is to go over here and to say, show me this flat. Now it's basically eliminated the hierarchy. But what's interesting is when you come to a keyword that's duplicated, it actually shows you the hierarchy of those duplicated keywords so you can tell where they are. So all we need to do is keep scrolling down this list until we find a less than symbol. So here you can see that I have the keyword arch under things and the keyword arch under natural. All I do now is I go over here to my search bar. I look for the keyword arch and then I can decide which of these places I want it. Well, I want these keyword, these to be here, select all. I want them to be under this natural. Turn that on, turn that off, and delete it. So now I just keep scrolling down and I look for the next less than sign. Now, even though it's not showing me any photos that match the filter, it's still searching my entire library because of the, the filter choice. And so let's scroll down. And here we go, we have gold. Gold is listed in my ZTemp holding, but it's also listed in my colors. Um, if I go over here, type in gold, and we'll see that I can take it from here. So I wanna find these gold, select all, add it to the correct gold, delete it from this one, and I'm good to go. Now you'll see that the gold under ZTemp holding has zero. And I just keep going. I just scroll until I find the less than sign because anytime the keyword's duplicated, Lightroom has to show you the hierarchy. So here's another one, Hidden Valley. So I can go over here, 
Search for Hidden Valley. Okay, and this is going to find me more than Hidden Valley because it's going to look for Valley, but I'm looking just for Hidden Valley. So I'm going to close all these up, and you can see here that I have Hidden Valley under Z-Temp Holding, but I also have it under Salt Lake Wasatch Fronts where it should be. So I'm going to find all of these. Do a select all. Those are pretty bad, huh? Do a select all. Assign it to the correct one. Eliminate it from this one. And now we can keep going. So as I go down, I know anytime I have a less than sign, there's somehow a duplicate involved. Now here's a case where I have the less than sign, but I've only listed Italy once. Now I know Italy is in there more than once. But the reason it only shows once is because the other occasion of Italy is not actually entered as a physical keyword in any photographs. It simply is appearing in those photographs because of the hierarchy. So the keyword filter here looks for actual keywords recorded with it, but doesn't look down on each photograph's hierarchy to see where they came from. I'll show that a little better in just a minute. Well, I know that Italy is a problem because it shows the less than sign. Even though it doesn't show me my duplicates, I can do the same thing. I can go over here, I can type in Italy, and you'll see that I have Italy down here, and I have Italy up here. And the reason that it's showing as a duplicate is because all of these keywords under Italy are also under Tuscany. So I can take all of these, for example, and I can find them, select, select all, assign them to this one, remove them from this one, Find all of these, select all, assign them to this one, remove them from this one. Now we find all of these Italy, which is still duplicated, but we don't need Italy there to be there anymore, and we don't need Tuscany. You'll notice that I've eliminated these, but in this case, I had these weren't hierarchical. They were hierarchical, but I'd also turn it on. But now I don't need any of these because they've been assigned to something else. If I click this Tuscany, you'll see that all these Tuscany are also showing up under Tuscany up here with a dash. So I really don't need this keyword anymore, so I can delete it from there. And the same with this one. I don't need this Italy because all of these pictures now show up correctly through the hierarchy up here in Italy, so I can delete this one. And now we've resolved Italy. So even though Italy's not showing as a duplicate, the fact that the less than sign is there means I have something involved in the hierarchy that is duplicated. And you'll notice now I have zero pictures here. Now, once I get done, all I do is go up to the top, go purge unused keywords, and all of these those keywords are gone. Now, what's interesting is they still show in this list, and I'm not sure why, but I think if I make another selection of photographs, so for example, let's go down here and do all sync photographs, which nullifies my library filter. Then I select all photographs again. And we go back and we look for the metadata. And at this point, I think Italy will be gone. Now that Italy is resolved, let's just scroll down and you'll notice that the keyword Italy doesn't actually appear in my library filter keyword list anymore. The library filter is only able to search within the specific metadata of each photograph. So only if you've gone up under here and physically typed a word in, will it appear. If we take a look at Italy, you'll notice there's a, there's no number associated with it. That means there's no photographs where I've actually typed in Italy as a keyword. Instead, what you'll see is that all the photographs have Italy showing up simply because it's in its hierarchy. And so that's one reason I think the less than sign showed up because there are some duplicates involved, but it's not a duplicate in the typical sense of the same keyword. So one reason I don't use the library filter to search for keywords is because of that. There are people that prefer a flat hierarchy because of that problem, but I find it easier just to go over here and search for a keyword because even if it's not associated with it, it will find the hierarchy and show it to me. You'll notice, for example, this picture here, you'll notice that the word key, Italy is not entered as a keyword, but it will export as a keyword because it's in the hierarchy. 
So just scrolling through that and looking for the less than sign lets you know and helps you find those duplicates pretty quickly. Then searching them in a search bar lets you isolate them down. And to be honest, even if you have a lot of them, 30, 40, 50, 60, you could probably do this in an hour fairly easily. It would be fairly quick and pretty simple to do. So that's my tip for the day. That's the trick to finding your duplicates. That's really the key is to find them and then easily get them associated with the correct placement of the keyword if you like to use hierarchical key lists, which in my case, I do, as you know, and I'm a big advocate of that because it sure cleans up your list. And the cool part is if you're at a location, for example, you're shooting Mesa Arch in uh, Moab, and you get back and you're importing those in your computer, when you import those, all you've got to do is put the word Mesa Arch in there, and all of your hierarchy will be pulled in automatically because of the way you manage that hierarchical list. So it's kind of a really useful tour. You don't have to put in Moab and Eastern Utah and all that stuff. And that even applies to other things. As long as you can list them as a hierarchy, you know, either for an organizational reason or because you want a full list of keywords based on one selection. Anyway, I hope that was a helpful tip. I found it really useful myself. I was able to resolve all my duplicates, I think, pretty quickly. I only have four or five left here to do. Once I resolve those, then it'll be pretty easy for me to go into that ZTemp holding that I have and then get those moved into correct categories because I'm not worried about duplicates anymore. Hey, well, make sure you subscribe and like the video. Appreciate those that hit the like button. It definitely helps me get a little more uh, exposure, you know, YouTube algorithm is kind of whacked anyway, but I do like to get my videos out there a little bit, especially handy little tips that I think maybe aren't very common. Anyway, hey, thanks for watching. See ya.